Good morning. My name is Paul Schimpf, and I'm running for Illinois governor because our state needs common sense conservative leadership we can trust. When I set about looking for a lieutenant governor running mate, I wasn't looking for somebody that was going to check a demographic or a geographic block. I was looking for somebody who would be an equal partner, somebody who understood the issues facing Illinois, somebody who had the background and experience and ability to help develop the solutions that our state desperately needs. Once I started talking to people, it became clear that there was one choice to be our next lieutenant governor. That person is someone that I'm going to introduce to you this morning. This is an individual that I am lucky to have as a partner in this campaign to change our state, to give Illinois a new start. Illinois needs leaders that can bring us together and provide solutions. Anger and outrage are not going to solve our state's problems. What we need is, is leaders that understand what it's like to live day to day, leaders that understand what it's like to wake up in the middle of the night wondering how you're gonna pay for your kid's education, leaders that understand the challenges that people face in Illinois. There is no doubt in my mind that I have picked the best person to be our next Lieutenant Governor of the state of Illinois. In fact, once you get to know this person, you may say, you know what, I wish she was at the top of the ticket instead of Paul. And I'm fine with that. If that's the reaction you have, that means that I made the best choice. So without further ado, I want to introduce our next Lieutenant Governor of the state of Illinois, my friend and top choice, Carolyn Schofield. Carolyn, the floor is yours. Thank you. Good morning. And thank you, Paul, for those kind words You're and welcome. for your faith in me in selecting me for your running mate. I'm really excited today to make the announcement of my candidacy for Lieutenant Governor because Illinois needs our help. Paul and I are rooted in similar beliefs and values. We are devoted to our families and we're happy that they're here with us today. I wanted to thank Lori's wife for being here today and my family, my husband Steve, my sons Griffin and Nolan, and my in-laws Paula and Bernie. Thank you for your support and for being here today. Paula and I are problem solvers by nature. We are both passionate about math and science. We are engineers by degree. And while Paul went on to law school, I worked in the field of fire protection. Paul served honorably our, our country in the military while I served our community. And it's fitting to be here today in this location in the heart of my hometown of Crystal Lake. I've served at the municipal level, the county level, and the regional level and began my, my public service here over 20 years ago. Paul served in the General Assembly as a state senator. Together, our experience at all levels and our service to this state is what makes us the best ticket for this race. And Illinois right now needs this type of leadership. Illinois has been subject to poor decisions and political dysfunction. And Paul and I are pledging to work with varied viewpoints to help solve the state's most pressing needs. I have a proven track record of working together with both sides and collaborating on issues such as fiscal responsibility and safety while focusing on our children, mental health, and compassion. As a mother, an engineer, a cancer survivor, and a volunteer, I am dedicated to public service, fueled by my logic and my grit. Please join Paul and I as we fight to return Illinois back to you. Thank you for being here today, and I will turn it back over to Paul so he can tell you more about our campaign. Well, thank you, Carol. Carolyn and I are going to give the state of Illinois a new start. 
During the next year, we are going to earn your trust to be your next governor and lieutenant governor by focusing on three things. First, we're going to focus on parents' rights. We believe that it's parents, not the government, that should determine their children's education, health care, and maturation into adulthood. We're also going to focus on giving Illinois back safe communities. We support unequivocally our law enforcement community. We believe that the governor of the state of Illinois needs to lead on making our communities more safe. As a former prosecutor, I can say that it is unacceptable the level of violence that is existing in the state of Illinois right now. We will work to make your communities and your families safe. The last thing that we're going to focus on is we are going to restore trust in Illinois government. What do I mean by talking about trust in government? What I mean is Illinois government needs to start functioning the way it should. We need to stop with the government overreach. We need to empower people, families, and local elected officials. And we need governors and lieutenant governors that you can trust to keep their word. We need a governor who is going to keep his promises and who is going to listen and work in full partnership with the Illinois General Assembly. One of the things that I have said repeatedly during this campaign thus far is that the truth is not afraid of transparency. What I mean by that is that a solution requires partnering, it requires legislative oversight. When we become governor and lieutenant governor, the days of an executive branch going it alone and not working with the Illinois General Assembly are over. That's why it is so important that we make a change in Illinois and that we give Illinois a new start. Carolyn and I have pledged that we are going to earn your vote by showing that we are leaders who can unite our state, not divide our state. We have the vision, the experience, and the willingness to bring the people of Illinois together. Illinois is, is a tremendous state. What we are lacking right now is leadership from our government, and Carolyn and I are looking forward to providing that. So at this point, we would be happy to take any questions that you have. We have a few members of the media here. We also have people watching online. If you have a question that you would like to submit online, please email it to info at shimpforillinois.org. Info at shimpforillinois.org. We will answer those online questions, but we'll also answer some of the questions from reporters that are, that are in attendance. And what was what was what was your name? I'm Ben Polisky. I'm from the Northwest Coast. Okay, so so thank you for the question, Ben. The question was, how do we feel about the status of the campaign? We are in you know an uphill battle. There is a uh, there is a Republican primary. People have a lot of choices uh, in the Republican primary. I am very excited about where our campaign is right now. Uh, we it's true. We don't have the money that other people do. I am not independently wealthy. My parents were school teachers, and I spent my adult life in the Marine Corps. So there is not a family trust fund that I can dip in on. But the advantage that our campaign has, as Carolyn mentioned, is you will not find another team with the experience and the solutions that we have. I am the only Republican in this race that has won an election against a Democrat when I was outspent. When I ran for the Illinois Senate, I was outspent significantly by former Governor Sheila Simon, and we won that race by almost 22 points. We won that race by talking about what unifies us, not what divides us. We have been on the record offering the people of Illinois solutions, not just outrage. I think the campaign is going to start to pick up right now. Up until this point, it's been the equivalent of preseason football. You know, not a lot of people have been paying attention yet. Now, uh, as people start to pay attention, they're going to realize that they have a choice. 
You know, they, you know, they can choose outrage or they can choose solutions. They can choose winning elections or losing lawsuits. You know, that's the choice that the people of Illinois are going to have. And I'm fe I feel confident that nobody can match our record and our ideas and our commitment. Would you want Ken Griffin's endorsement? I will accept the endorsement of almost anybody who wants leadership that's going to unite our state. So, Carolyn, if you want to just talk a little bit about, you know, a lot of people view the position of lieutenant governor differently. Some people's advocates for getting rid of the position altogether. What would your role, your role as lieutenant governor be, and how would you use the position, I guess, to advocate for on behalf of Governor Schimpf or um, what you believe in policy-wise? Yeah, thanks, Ben. Uh, and that was one of the reasons, actually, that I was so honored to be um, selected as the running, running mate for Paul, because when we met, one of the things he said is he didn't want a lieutenant governor that was going to do nothing and sit on the sidelines. He wanted somebody that was engaged in the process and somebody that could be part of those decisions and bring things to the table and um, basically offer areas that maybe um, we, were complementary to ones that he may not be as familiar with. I've done a lot of work in mental health and in government efficiencies and we've talked a lot about that and I'm excited for the opportunity to get some of the issues out there that haven't really been discussed on how our, our kids are being affected right now in their mental health and well-being and uh, how government can actually function better with efficiencies and shared services. So I'm excited to partner with Paul and he's allowing me that opportunity. So I think it, we can make it a different role. Thanks. Can you, last oh. question, you've also run in What's your lesson that you plan to take into this campaign from your past experience in that kind of primary? The one biggest thing that I've always been proud of is I've stuck true to myself and maintained my integrity, and that's what I plan on doing, and that's what um, appealed to me about Paul was he is, he is true to himself. He uh, maintains that integrity, and in this, this campaign will be no different. That is one of um, the values that we share and one of the beliefs we share in how we should run an election. Uh, Ms. Schofield, as you are the, currently the vice chair of the McHenry County Board, can you take two or three of your highlights of how that will complement you as a lieutenant governor as in, in, the, in the SHIMP administration? Could you just some highlights to, for, for, of your record to discuss? Okay, great. Thank you very much for that question. The first thing um, that, it, as you mentioned, I am vice chair of the McHenry County Board, which was a position that was elected by my peers. So I think it first and foremost shows the collaboration that I have and I'm able to bring um, varied views together. Secondly, it ties well with uh, Ben's question of what I would like to do as Lieutenant Governor. In McHenry County, we um, have a shared service coordinator program, one of which that I had done um, a great deal of work on in implementing, was um, able to get a local technical assistance grant to fund the program and our shared service coordinator actually works with all of the municipalities in our local government to find efficiencies within our government where we can actually work together. And an example that we were able to tie with mental health is when I sat down with the mental health board, he had um, approached me asking, can you get us in with the sheriff's department? So I did have discussions and with the sheriffs of how they could work together and they we're working on separate um, social work programs and actually through our shared service coordinator program, we're able to come together and develop a social work program that can be utilized throughout our community and help our first responders and help the public with um, getting help and assistance in mental health for the long term rather than just um, responding to these uh, people in, in crisis. So this is a long-term solution and an example of how we can partner, partner together. Any other questions from the, uh, from the media in, in attendance? Do we have any, uh, do we have any questions submitted on, online at this point? All right. Okay. I'd just like to, uh, to dovetail on something that Carolyn talked about, which is the lieutenant governor's role has not 
historically been a great one, but that is really up to the governor. And when I was looking for a lieutenant governor, I was looking for somebody that would be a full partner in developing solutions. So Carolyn is going to be an equal partner. She is somebody that I am going to look to to help unify our state. I am not afraid to admit that Carolyn knows more probably about property taxes and government consolidation than I do. That is a good thing, not a bad thing, because this is a partnership and we will feed on each other's strengths. Uh, as, as our next Lieutenant Governor, I do expect her to be a full partner, somebody that I will be able to talk to, use as a sounding board and as a co-equal in coming up with the solutions that our state desperately needs. You know, too often in elections, we say, well, I don't really have a choice, my vote doesn't matter. That is not the case in this election. In this election coming up, both in the primary and the general election, you will have a choice. And that choice is going to be, do we want outrage, anger, and the same divisions that have crippled our state, or do we want leadership that can listen to everybody, develop solutions, and unify the state of Illinois. It's leadership that Carolyn and I are offering. We both firmly believe that as conservatives, you build from the ground up. And a strong Illinois starts with strong families and strong local governments. That's why Carolyn is such an outstanding choice why she will be an outstanding lieutenant governor because of her experience in right here in McHenry County in local government. So this election is going to be a choice really between do we want the same partisan divisions and outrage or do we want leadership that can unify our state and bring out the best in Illinois. Carolyn and I are committed that we're going to give Illinois a new start over the next year, we are going to work hard to show you all that we can do precisely that. We look forward to earning your trust in the next 11 months, and we look forward to being your next governor and lieutenant governor in the state of Illinois. Thank you.